Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the ninth video in the AC Electricity series, and we are looking at the concept of resonance in an LCR circuit. So let's start by looking at our um, simulation, and I've got the same simulation as our first LCR circuit. I've got an AC um, source inductor, that's my L, capacitor, that's my RC, and resistor, that's my R, so resistor in the form of a light bulb. I'm measuring the current um, in this one here, and I want to see where that gets maximum. When the bulb's brightest is when I can get the, the, the current um, amplitude to be as high as possible. So let's get it started, and you can see um, everything wiggles back and forward. The voltage over the capacitor and the voltage over the inductor are not necessarily the same here. So in, the, in a, a, a phasor diagram, those arrows are not going to be the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the frequency. So that tells you how fast this goes back and forth. And I'll shift it up here. And so you'll notice that everything wiggles around a bit faster. My light's not very bright at all. Um, and the current's very low. Now, if I can shift it the other way. And now what I've done is, um, and you'll see that my capacitor voltage gets a bit bigger. My current gets a bit bigger. The bulb's a bit brighter. But then if I find in the middle somewhere... I can actually maximize everything. And you'll notice that my voltage of my capacitor, my voltage of my inductor are equal and opposite. They're just above five volts, maybe six volts. And my light bulb is as bright as it can possibly be and my current's quite high, it's about one amp. So this is the maximum brightness I can get for this guy. And it's done through getting the frequency to such a point that you look at this. This is about positive six and this is about negative six. This goes down to about negative 6, this goes up to about positive 6. They're equal and opposite, and that's my concept of resonance. So my observations are um, the current still in phase with, with VR, that's what we found last time. We always found that the inductor leads my um, resistor by 90 degrees, my capacitor lags by 90 degrees, nothing's changed there. But at this point of resonance, when I can get the frequency just right, my voltage over my capacitor and my voltage over my inductor are equal and opposite and they cancel out. And at this point, my current maxim maximizes and I get the brightest bulb I can possibly get. So what does that look like in the phasor diagram? Well, these two arrows for inductor and capacitor are equal, um, but always in the opposite direction, but now they're equal, so they fully cancel out. And so in my impedance triangle, remember impedance triangle is a separate diagram with um, the resistances and the reactances has the same relationship as these in terms of directions and, and ratios of sizes. And here, when we have resonance, we have um, both of these guys equal. So I can find, first of all, the total reactance. Remember, that's just looking at the reactances, which is uh, the ones with the X. So that's the reactance of the inductor and the reactance of the capacitor. I find the difference of those, they're equal and opposite, it's zero. They cancel out completely. So I'm left with the only sort of total resistance in the circle is just the normal resistor. And so impedance, which is my name for total resistance in an AC circuit, is just given by this. And that's the minimum it can possibly be because I've cancelled two arrows out. When it's at its minimum, I know voltage in the circuit is equal to current times um, impedance. Rearrange that. Current is inversely proportional to impedance. So if I get minimum impedance, like I said, I'm going to get maximum current. And so I get the brightest bulb I can possibly get. So we're given a formula. I'm going to show you where it comes from. You don't need to know where it comes from. Um, but I'm going to show you in case you want to know anyway. And this is a formula for calculating what that resonant frequency is. So we know that at resonant frequency, the total reactance is zero. Right, the reactance of the capacitor and inductor cancel each other out. So I could write that mathematically like this. I've got a I've got a formula for each of those reactances. One is omega times L, and the other one's one over omega times C. And what I want to do is put the omegas on the same side and the L and the C on the same side. So I times omega both sides, and I get an omega squared. And divide by L both sides, I get one over L C. I want to find the frequency, so what I'm going to do is square root it. So I just have omega. And we know omega is equal to 2 pi f, so I'm going to replace that. And finally, I just want the frequency, so I'm going to divide by 2 pi. 
Now because this is a special frequency, it happens only at the resonant frequency, I'm going to call it something different than just F. I'm going to call it F0. Now that formula is given to you, but I've just given you a sort of an indication of where it comes from. You don't need to be able to derive it, but you, I guess you need to be able to say that that formula exists when XL equals XC, when the reactances are equal to each other. So what's the point? Why do we care about resonance? Well, they're used in um, for sending signals, especially radio signals, and receiving radio signals. So you've seen in, in an old car or an old um, radio tuner, you've got a knob that changes the, the frequency that you're listening to. What that's actually doing is it's changing a, a capacitor in um, the circuit. And it's um, doing that because the radio tuner receives radio um, signals from every frequency. Every radio station that you could tune into gets them. They're traveling through the air. So how do we get our radio just to listen to one at a time? It tunes it in such a way so that one that we want to listen to, so say in this bottom one here, 89.1, that 89.1 is the resonant frequency. We can set it up as the resonant frequency. And just like within the resonant frequency, um, the bulb gets bright, at the resonant frequency, the signal gets loud. And that's the one that we hear. Okay, So they actually um, have a, a very important function that we've used in the past, which is sending and receiving radio signals. So in summary, at this idea of resonance, we have um, the voltage over the inductor, the voltage over the capacitor are equal and opposite, they cancel out. And similarly with the impedance triangle, the reactances cancel out. This gives us the minimum impedance we possibly could get and maximizes the current. So in an LCR circuit with a light bulb, the light goes bright. In an LCR circuit with a speaker, we hear the sound of the, the radio station we want to hear. There's a formula for that which is given. Um, and obviously it's used in, in these radio signals.